work. And I feel like Clark definitely gave us a bit of oh, that, that energy. So mm -hmm. what do you get when you mix German culture right here in Texas? Well, of course, Worst Fest, the annual celebration is back right up the road in New Braunfels. And you guys know what you can expect there. Lots of food, fun, dancing. But instead of telling you all about it. You know Paul, what? We're just going to show you. Clark is out live now. Clark, spike and see fun. Woo! You know what, I'm having so much fun already. I would tell you that there's water in this cup right now, but I'd be lying, oh my gosh. This is the best way to start off a Monday morning. So I'm hanging out at the 61st annual Worst Fest. We're all the way over in New Braunfels right now. It's so beautiful. And this is the group that helps bring everything together. So thank you guys so much for putting on such an awesome event, but there's more than you can see. Um, other than just music and all the amazing outfits, I love what I'm wearing right now. I had to represent a little bit, but I'm gonna head over here to Miles and Bob, because there's some delicious food at this event. I'm gonna set the brewski down. But thank you so much for being on our show this morning and sharing your culture with us. Miles, I wanna start off with you. Um, what can people expect at this year's Worst Fest? Well, you can expect our brand new grounds out here. So when you walk in through the gates, you're gonna walk into this beautiful park, probably one of the best parks in South Texas around here. You got the Guadalupe, uh, Kamal River on one side, you got the park on the other side, and you got the big bands that are playing here. We got five different stages, and we also have all types of food. I love the sound of that. I love food. I'm a foodie. Um, and speaking of food, we do have some in front of us right now. So what are we putting together this morning? Today we're going to put a Wurschentaschen together. Okay. And What's in a Wurschentaschen? Well, this is a pita bread, white pita bread. And we'll put a, a broth horse in it. Mm -hmm. And we'll do a little bit of sauerkraut there. And then we'll put a little special of this on there. And it is ready to go. That's so easy, but the flavors look delicious. I can smell it, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. And um, I know that all brats are not created the same. Do you have a favorite bratwurst? Uh, yes, but um, I have, uh, yes, I do. It's um, Randy Russ's um, Game Place. Mm -hmm. They have a really good broth, yes. Okay. It's called Carlton's over there. I love mm -hmm. it, I love the sound of that. And then we have a lot more food over here as well. I see a potato pancake, of course the beer, you can't miss it, but these candied nuts as well, that looks right. delicious. Yes, and um, we have our special sauce that goes over the pancake. There. Yes, that, that looks awesome. All off right there, that makes it right there. And so what about the food makes this event so special? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, if you look at some of this food, you can't find these in any other um, festival at all. You know, the pork chop on a stick is a fan favorite. The potato pan pancakes are. The um, uh, Wurstentoshins are. The Rubentoshins. Uh, the cheese curds is a new item down there. Uh, and then the onion rings down there. But, um, yeah. The cheese curds look delicious, too. And I'm going to come over now to you, Bob, and talk a little bit about what kids and families can do here. Because I noticed there's a carnival on the opposite side of where we're standing, and it looks like so much fun. Yes. Well, you know, Worst Fest is known for sausage family and fun. Mm -hmm. Bring your kids out here. We have the carnival, like you mentioned. We have a hall that's called the Kinderhalle, and there's always kind of activities going on for the children over at the Kinderhalle. We have face painting down here on the river. And you know what's a, one of my favorites mm -hmm. is taking my grandchildren out on the dance floor, whether it's at the Worst Hall or at the Stelson House, and learning, teaching them how to dance. And it's just, that's what it's all about. It's just about having family here with you and having so much fun at this festival. And what is something that's maybe different or unique this year that maybe you haven't done in years past? Are there any surprises or is this kind of just, you know, the way that you kick off the year and you're kind of going with the flow and how you've usually done things? I don't know of anything that's been really special this year. Last year was a very special year when we reopened up, opened up our brand new market plots. Uh, that That's beautiful there. Uh, but we also, I want to just throw something out. This is the over 50 years, mm -hmm. the uh, performing arts, the melodrama that we have here at Worst Fest. It's called Willy Wonk Worst this year. It's been going on here at this festival for 50 years. We'd love to have people come out, go over there, watch the melodrama and then come back here and have fun with us. Oh, I love the sound of that and I know that the event people you really have to come out and experience this event because they are getting ready to uh, wrap up Worst Fest I believe November 14th right? Uh, November the 13th. November the 13th. Yeah. Okay, so it's everything's over November the 13th. So everyone needs to come out and enjoy all the music, the festivities while they can. Gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. You guys, doesn't this look so awesome? I love, okay, here I'm a fan of the pork chop on a stick. It looks so delicious. Wow. Everything looks good. I, look at that. I, it makes me oh. want to get out there immediately. Love Worst Fest. If you have never been, you've got to get out to Worst Fest. Oh, and you've got till Sunday. It's been